Hello Internet! My name is Peter Riley and I'd like to discuss some of my inventions. The purpose of the Riley Null is uh, to simplify this process. Uh, something that I'm sure you're all familiar with. What we're trying to do here is ensure that the axis of the spindle is absolutely perpendicular to the surface of the table. To do that, one way is to mount an indicator like this at an offset in the spindle such that we can sweep back and forth and measure the table in various spots. The way it's done is you pick a starting spot, you set the uh, indicator to zero, and then as you go around all of the readings on the table should also be zero. And if they're not, then you, your uh, head is out of tram and you need to adjust uh, the, the tilt or the nod to bring it into tram. You use the indicator only really to read at the zero point. You're really not interested in other readings other than it being away from zero. And when it is away from zero, you work to bring it back to zero such that all readings are zero and the head will be in tram. The idea of bringing it back to zero in all cases, you are using the indicator as a null indicator, meaning you only care about the zero point and other points are just an error that, that must be eliminated. The, the Riley null does all of this. It is a null indicator. It does not give you a measure of how far off axis you are, but it allows you to bring it into alignment and will give you a zero indication when everything is correct. Today I'd like to talk about a, an invention of mine that I call the Riley Nell. There's two parts to it. One is a, a target mirror, which is a regular surface reflecting mirror mounted on a, <coughs> on a shaft where the mirror is quite precisely perpendicular to the axis of the shaft. And that'll go in the, uh, the spindle. The Riley Null you put on the surface that you want to measure uh, and what this has is a mirror that is precisely adjusted to be parallel to the, the two surfaces. In the center, through that um, dot you can see, there's a laser that will shine vertically with the beam quite precisely adjusted to be perpendicular to the mirror and to the, the surfaces. Uh, I can turn it on here. And uh, what's happening is that uh, you see the laser beam exiting the little port in the center of the mirror, goes up, bounces off this target mirror, comes back down. There's a little misalignment, so the dot, the laser beam appears as a dot a little bit off center. Back up, back down, another dot, back up, back down, another dot and it just runs off the mirror. Uh, that's an indication of misalignment between my table surface and the target mirror. If I uh, just by hand tilt this a little bit, you can see it can bring the dots back, but it's, it's very tricky. Uh, in this way, I can use this device to tram the head of my bridge port I can use it for any measure of parallelness on fixtures or any other device. This is uh, a simple device. It has this mirror that is a partially reflecting mirror. It's actually a 90% reflecting mirror in the center of the dot that you see. The rest of the surface is fully reflective. Inside here, there's a laser pointer and that shines along here, hits a mirror that is at 45 degrees, which directs the beam 
up to the center. The uh, mirror is adjusted using these uh, sir, this ring of uh, screws. The inner ring of screws is used to adjust this uh, 45 degree mirror. In that way you, you calibrate this. This is patented. I have a US patent. When you uh, get a patent from the American Patent Office, they send you a, a nice folder like this. The patent is here. This was patented in October 24 uh, in the year 2000. Patent number 6137579. The patent is expired. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with this. You are welcome to make one of your own. Uh, you can uh, send me messages and maybe I'll, I'll uh, give advice on, on how to build one of your own. And uh, you're welcome to do this. Thank you. The laser that I'm using with uh, my Riley Null is just one of these cheap pointer lasers, just like that. You can see it mounted in here. This clamps the laser and it's held in that position. The mirror that I'm using is uh, something that I had made up. It's a uh, 25 uh, millimeter glass circle. Around the edge it is metalized uh, to be fully reflective and in the center you can see there's a section where it is only about 90% reflective. You can see on the both, si both sides. <coughs> you can see the, the laser will shine through the center section, but not the, uh, not the outside section. So that's the, the point of the design of that mirror. Here is a little bit better demonstration of the accuracy that uh, you can get with uh, the Riley Null. I'm using an optical tilt table that will tilt in the XY axes. The dial, the wheels, the adjustment wheels are, are not calibrated. This is not a calibrated table. Each revolution of these wheels, about 11 minutes of arc. The wheels don't have any gradations on them, so we can't really give any fine measurements closer than that. But it does demonstrate the sensitivity of this device. I'll, I'll turn it on here, and I have it uh, aligned in. As I go back and forth, you can see the uh, you can see the dots come into. Uh, converging on the center or go out depending that is in that direction this shows it in this direction I can zoom in to give a a little bit better demonstration of of the dots okay here they uh, converge on the center there they're going out. Here they uh, go out in the other direction. And here's the, the Y. You can see that the dots leaving the center. They tilt back and forth. And uh, you can quite clearly see how you can align both axes using this without having to go through the, the rather complicated process using a dial indicator. Uh, zoom out just a bit here and you can see the movement of the dial. So I'm just turning it this. Remember this is uh, 11 uh, minutes of arc per revolution, so I'm going much less than one revolution to move the, the dot back and forth. 
I'll also note there's about 20 centimeters of distance between the target mirror and the mirror of the, the Riley Null. Uh, that's significant in that as you reduce the distance here, the device becomes less sensitive and the more distance between the two, the more sensitive it is, the more the uh, dots will diverge with less misalignment. Uh, so in that sense, it's not a replacement for a dial indicator or an auto collimator, which actually gives you a measurement of angle. This is really a null indicator when all of the bouncing laser beams come to the center, then you know that you're in alignment. When you're out of alignment, it actually does not give you a measure of the amount of, al of misalignment. So it's a, a nulling indicator rather than a measuring device. Another way of using the Riley Null is with a, a permanently mounted mirror. You need not have the mirror or mounted in the spindle. You could take a mirror like this with a fixture and mount it to the side of the spindle of your, your milling machine. In that way you can leave it on all the time. It would have to be carefully adjusted to be perpendicular to the uh, rotation of the spindle. But once that's done, now you have a permanently available reference surface that simply bringing out the Riley Null and aiming it at this mirror can allow you to uh, tram your head or set your head to be perpendicular to some machine surface that you would like to uh, machine. Let's talk uh, a little about about the accuracy of the, the Riley Null, um, or rather actually the sensitivity since the Riley Null doesn't give you a, a measurement, it just tells you when uh, things are parallel and the direction that they're off from parallel. So uh, what I've done here is written a, a spreadsheet in uh, OpenOffice Calc and calculated the position of the dots from the uh, first dot, which is the center uh, where the laser exits the mirror, and then the second dot, and so on down, calculated it all the way to the, the 20th dot. Uh, I'm assuming 25, two, I mean 250 millimeters between the target mirror and the Riley null mirror, uh, and um, working on a uh, misalignment error of 0. 0.0001 degrees, which is uh, about 21 seconds of arc. Uh, this is the equivalent to uh, a measurement of one thousandth of an inch across a distance of 10 inches, which is sort of uh, the angle that you uh, measure when you sweep the table on your bridge port to tram the head. That's uh, also equivalent to 0 0.025 millimeter at, at a, a range of uh, tw uh, 25 centimeters. So what I've done here is, uh, for the first dot, the uh, dot, this, the first dot that is reflected is 0 0.05 millimeter from the center, uh, really far too close to the original beam to, to actually measure the distance. And, uh, but once you get down to 10, the tenth dot, now the distance is, uh, the, the distance between each dot, the successive dots, is now 0.45 millimeters, but the accumulated error is uh, 2.25 millimeters. So now, at that distance, the tenth dot really can be seen separate from the original beam and 
you can use that to uh, adjust the angle to bring it into uh, parallel so that this gives you the the sensitivity that you can expect if you can see the tenth dot it and it is at uh, 2.25 millimeters from the central beam then uh, you're at uh, 0.0001 degrees error which is about as good as you can normally do with a, a dial indicator uh, each beam as it bounces back and forth is degraded because the mirrors do not reflect perfectly uh, and indeed when the uh, dot is bouncing off of the center section of the mirror only 90 percent is reflected so i've calculated the beam intensity for each successive dot and at the tenth dot the uh, the beam will be 39 percent of the original brightness and but that's still um, completely completely viewable I've calculated the table all the way down to the 20th dot. The 20th dot will be almost a centimeter off of the center at this very slight misaligned angle. And the 20th dot will be only 14% of the intensity of, of the, original, uh, the original beam. This is sort of a, uh, a exaggerated diagram of uh, the process that's going on here. The laser will be, this represents the uh, mirror on the surface of the Riley Null. This represents the target mirror and I've shown it at a, a slight angle so that the two are not parallel. The laser passes through the first mirror bounces off the target mirror, comes back displaced a little bit because the angles um, diverge a little. The dotted line represents a perpendicular line from the target mirror, and so that the, the laser will bounce off that mirror, and the entry angle and the exit angle from reflection is the same, so it will come down here at point number one which is what we calculated in the table. And we'll bounce back up, come back to point two, bounce back up, point three, bounce back up, point four, and so on. And the, this process of expanding the divergence is the principle in which this works.